Hi, and welcome to this Corbin Mouse primary video on multiplying fractions. In this video, we're going to look at how to multiply fractions by whole numbers, fractions by fractions, and mixed numbers by whole numbers. Okay, so let's have a look at, first of all, multiplying a fraction by a whole number. So, if we consider 3 times 5, that means 3 lots of 5. So that's a 5, a 5, and another 5. And 3 fives is 15. Now we can consider multiplying fractions by whole numbers in the same way. We can consider it as 3 lots of 1 fifth. For if we were working out 3 times 1 fifth, it would be 3 lots of 1 fifth. And that would be 1 fifth, 1 fifth, and another 1 fifth. And 3 lots of 1 fifth would be 3 fifths. Now, you might notice a bit of a shortcut there. If you're multiplying 1 fifth by 3, it's just 3 fifths. So let's have a look at some examples. So our next example is to work out 7 times 1 tenth. So 7 times 1 tenth, or 7 lots of 1 tenth, would be 7 tenths. Next, a quarter times 3. Now, even though it's written the other way around, remember a quarter times 3 is the same as 3 times 1 quarter. So it's the same thing. So 3 lots of 1 quarter would be 3 quarters. Okay, next. Now, we can also work it out even if the number on the top of the fraction or the numerator isn't a 1. So if I had 2 lots of 2 fifths, well, if you had a 2, if you had two fifths and another 2 fifths, that would be 4 fifths. And again, the quick way to work that out is to just multiply the number on the top of the fraction by the whole number. So 2 lots of 2 fifths is 4 fifths. And finally, if I want to work out 2 ninths times 5, again, if I had 5 lots of 2 ninths, that would be 10 ninths by just multiplying the 2 and the 5. So that would be 10 ninths. Okay, let's have a look now at how to multiply a fraction by a fraction. So in the same way that we consider three, 3 times 5 is 3 lots of 5, we could consider a half times a quarter as a half a lot of a quarter. In other words, a half of a quarter. And then half of a quarter would just be 1 eighth. Now, there's a bit of a shortcut there. Okay, if we had 1 eighth as the answer, you might see that 1 times 1 is 1 and 2 times 4 is 8. So if you're multiplying fractions together, all you need to do is to multiply the top numbers, the numerators together, and the denominators together. So let's have a look at some questions. So, our first question. A half times a third. So if you want to multiply these fractions together, just multiply the top numbers, the numerators together. 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 times 3 is 6. Next, 3 fifths times 3 quarters. Well, 3 times 3 is 9. And 5 times 4 is 20. So 3 fifths times 3 quarters would be 9 twentieths. And that's it. So if we want to multiply a fraction by a fraction, you just times the tops of the fractions together, the numerators, and the bottom numbers of the fractions together, the denominators. Okay, and our last one, um, 7 twentieths times 3 quarters. Again, just multiply the numbers on the top of the fractions together. 7 times 3 is 21. And 20 times 4 is 80. So our answer would be 21 80th. Just before we go on to have a look at multiplying mixed numbers by whole numbers, I just want to point out a special case of when we're multiplying fractions by whole numbers. So if we had this question six times a half, well, six halves would be six halves. Now, if you had six halves, they would actually be equal to three because obviously six halves, like so, six halves is three. So be aware that sometimes whenever you multiply a fraction by a whole number, it might give you a whole number answer, not a fraction, because obviously this line can sometimes be considered as divided by, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Here's another example. Another example would be 20 times by 3 quarters. Um, this You could consider this as 20 times 3 quarters, but 20 times 3 is 60 over 4. Now, the line means divided by, so 60 divided by 4, well, half of it is 30, and half of it, again, is 15. So the answer there would be 15. And that is the also just an interesting point to notice. That's the same as 3 quarters off 20. So 3 quarters off 20 is the same as 3 quarters times 20. So finally, let's have a look at how to multiply mixed numbers by whole numbers. So as we consider 3 times 5 as 3 lots of 5, we could consider 3 times 1 and a half as 3 lots of 1 and a half, like so. And let's look at that a bit more carefully to get our answer. So 3 lots of 1 and a half, well that would be 1, 2, 3. These two would make 4, and then we're left with 1, so that would be 4 and a half. Now at primary level, the, the, the mixed numbers that you're going to be asked to use won't be too complicated. It'll be one and a half, two and a half, um, you know, one and a third, something quite straightforward. Now, 
maybe as you get older or you know as you go into secondary school i would sort of say turn these into top heavy fractions and so on but i'm just going to show the method that i would use to answer the questions that you might be asked in pr primary level in terms of multiplying mixed numbers by whole numbers so here's an example the question says 14 times one and a half now a bit of a quick way to do that is to do 14 times one and 14 times a half well 14 times one is 14 and 14 times a half, well, that's the same as a, uh, 14 halves. Well, 14 halves would be 7, because half of 14 is 7. And if we add together our 14 and 7, we get 21. So the answer to this question would be 21. So we just do 14 times 1 and 14 times a half. And just remember, 14 times a half is the same as a half of 14. Okay, and our last question. Our last question is to work out two and a half times 19. Um, again, this is just sort of a technique that I would use at primary level to multiply mixed numbers by whole numbers. Well, let's do 19 times two and then 19 times a half. Well, 19 times two is 38. 19 times a half is the same as a half of 19 and a half of 19 is 9.5. And then if we add, them to, add those two together, we're gonna get eight plus nine is 17, carry the one. 47.5 so answer would be 47.5 or 47 and a half and that's it so that's how we multiply together uh, fractions by whole numbers fractions by fractions and fractions by mixed numbers at primary level